Hey everybody, standing ovation, back with another break. More stature. I got a 21-22 and a 22-23 box. Thought I'd rip these two open and see how they compare. I like stature as of last year. Actually, before last year, I really didn't give the two hoots about the product. I didn't look at it too closely for the first year. And, uh, was it two years, I guess? 20, 1920, 2021. Yeah, two years prior to 21-22. But last year, I opened enough of it to see a couple of nice patch cards and I like the idea there's no redemptions in it. It's all hard signed cards, no stickers, and parallels. I'm usually, I, I like parallels, but it's also probably your best shot at hitting a one of one, which probably won't happen either. There's a lot of these boxes that do not reward you with any great results, but in like say financially even, let alone current players, because 21, 22 products and 23, 24 suck, but they only came out three months ago. And this came out yesterday, and 22, 23 products is not 23, 24. And that sucks too. But it is what it is. Upper Deck's got the corner marketed on all this and market cornered or whatever I'm trying to say. There's no competition. They can do whatever they want to do. They're going to make stuff whenever they feel like it and put it out. And we're going to like it. That's the way it works with Upper Deck. And quality may or may not be part of their picture. They may give you eight cards in a pack. They may not. I found throughout the past year upper deck has no connection to quality you might or might not get what you're supposed to get you may or may not get an autograph you may or may not get seven or eight cards don't put any faith in upper deck at delivering what they actually say on the wrappers because it's it's pretty much not true they will eventually i guess if you open a claim with them and you know do a couple of backflips and whatever they'll send you something but it won't be in this pack probably i'm, I'm sounding kind of discouraged right now because i just opened a couple of, of uh stature packs that were short cards and quality was poor and this is going back to black diamond ultimate premier stature spx i've opened up all of these products they've all had missing cards at some point so really i don't know why i'm doing this again other than i like stature and stature actually aside from those last two packs it's been pretty good to me from quality wise all the other things but let's do 21 22 stature and compare it to 22 23 one auto per pack, one rookie per pack, and then who knows what else. But they're supposed to be eight cards. This year they added a few more inserts, but generally they're not, it's not known for inserts. There are three insert sets you can pull from the Legendary Heights, the Rookie Excellence, and the Gravitas. Uh, but aside from that, it's that autograph, perhaps, and or the one of one. And again, you can tell no thick patch in there. So I'm not getting patched with this pack, but let's see if I can get them in frame here before I start going through what do i got only the goldie starting us off with jack ross Lovick. so you again like this year and last year you get two base cards to start it off numbered hit first numbered hit might be a rookie it oh it is it's adam rizichka number to 399 base rookie adam rizichka i'm going to pull off the back because this is kind of this is the insert rookie excellence cross foot off uh again not uh I guess they got uh, Vemelka and Prosvetov. I, I don't know. Are they both still there? Coyotes goalie. Okay, next numbered hit. These will be the parallels from here on down. The last one will be the autograph. First parallel is a green Brock Nelson. Numbered to 66. Not sure what the design variant or photo variant. I've never been able to figure it out by just looking at it. But that's the... Or it could just be a green parallel. So there's design variants, photo variants, color variants. And I said, I think there's nine of each card. I mean, there might be up to 12. I don't know. There's tons of parallels. Tons and tons. Metric tons, even. It's Legendary Heights, green parallel, Peter Bondra, numbered uh, 125. Not really sure they needed to parallel the inserts, but you know Upper Deck. Like I said, their quality is secondary to their originality. Okay, oh, it's a 12 of 33, Casper Bjorkvist. The color threw me off for a second. There is no color, is there? It's just a, it's a base parallel photo variant or design variant. I, I don't know, or is that purple? I can't tell. It's 33. It's got a kind of a purpley color. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, I think it's, well, it's numbered at a 33, and it's Casper Bjorkfist. Casper Bjorkfist. Everybody's favorite Bjorkfist. 
Casper Bjorkvist. Okay, here we go. It's all about this autograph in the pack. One per pack, one autograph. We got, it's not a rookie, it's a vet. It's Sean Dursey, and I lied. It is a rookie. He's actually having a pretty good season with Coyotes. Sean Dursey. He's been traded away from L.A. I managed to pull a nice patch card of his out of the ultimate. Okay, well, Sean Jersey is my autograph in the 21-22 box. Again, I got this at a show a little bit cheaper than the release date price, so that's not such a bad thing. But probably not, again, not a lot of high, uh, like really a, part, a kind of a poor box from what I've seen of stature from 21 22 i guess cole's egg my one veteran and some rookies but really not the greatest pack so fortunately i have another pack to rip and compare it to at a 22 23 hopefully this one will be the one but i don't know some people are not on the board with stature i just again i like the fact they made a product that doesn't have redemptions in it and does give you a hard sign card in every pack I don't like the fact that they raised the price this year. These are 200. Again, that show box I got for 180 bucks. Um, and the $200, as they said, the quality, they have not fixed these problems with quality up our deck. I don't think they're even trying to, because I mean, I, I could complain going back six months ago and they're still with this uh, shorting cards in some packs and, and having unnecessary quality control issues, um, just not fixed. But again, no patch in this one, so. Let's see how it turns out. I like the base design a little bit better this year. It's kind of, uh, again, I, I said before, it looks more like a cup card to me, but it is stature. Just by looking at it, that's, well, it, it, uh, it says stature. But they haven't changed the design on the front a whole lot since they first came out. So Aho and Hull are two bases. I like the Hull Coyotes card, although, although he didn't play there for very long. And Gretzky ended up in... Phoenix and or Arizona and so did Brett. I forgot that he played there for a, about a week, maybe. I don't know. He was there for a little while, a season. Sebastian Aho, Niels Amon, my first rookie, base rookie again. The Canucks. I haven't heard this guy's name in the in the game lineup recently. I'm going to go right to the back here and pull out this insert off the back. The dignified. It's another Brett Hull card. Because why not? get two when you know one's just not going to be enough brett hall with the coyotes dignified stature dignified the alumni it is a good part of stature is the, the veteran content in the checklists is strong well behind nils amon we got an orange the new color power all this year is orange and there's a timo meyer again 22 23 so he's not with the devils he's still a shark back when the Sharks were sort of okay, but, oh, man, San Jose. Ew. Talking like California Golden Seals quality team. Even the Golden Seals were better. We're talking Kansas City Scouts quality team. Okay, well, come on, San Jose. Next is this dignified Peter Forsberg. Fopa out of 150. A 99 out of 150. Wouldn't mind getting a signed car to him. Although I do already have one in the eBay store right now. If you like this video, tap the like button and subscribe. Okay, one more before the auto. We going this way? No, we're going this way. No, we are going this way. It's orange. It's orange, and it's another FOPA. So that's funny. I got two Brett Hulls and two Forsbergs in the same pack. This one's at a 55, 26 at a 55. That's cool. Now, why is this dignified? Well, I did see the number at 150. The little corner touch. And the last card, the autograph. That'd be cool to see another faux pas. Hard sign veteran. There's been four of them in this pack so far. We get another one. Oh, we got another one. Stature rookie. Jack Eye. Jack Eye. Well, that's cool. In my first opening, I saw a Montreal Canadiens hit. Actually, it's not far away. I can show it now. So I got two of the halves out of uh, 22-23. But I, I like Jack Eye. I like that guy, Jack Eye. He's kind of like a old school NHLer, tough. I bet you he'll retire with a record in Gordie Howe hat tricks. That's the kind of guy he is. Tough guy. Oh, I saw a neat uh, article about him. His parents immigrated to Canada and worked their um, Home Depot job. And uh, I don't know what his dad was, but both parents worked really hard to get him 
to all his hockey games. And it's expensive to grow up in Toronto playing hockey. But he did he done all right there. Right on. Well, I like it. The last card, I finally got one that I can sign, finally be a little happy. I got a guy I wanted. I don't think I'll rip a whole lot more of stature. I don't think I'll want to rip a whole lot more of anything until 23, 24 stuff starts to come out because as you well are aware if you watch my channel I ripped a lot of stuff and this 23-24 season is well underway and the fact that only season series one has come out I think is horse hooey horse hooey upper deck if you are a person I'd punch you in the face right now I'm so mad at the way you've handled this hobby over the past couple of years and giving us inferior products and this one's kind of fun though I can't complain I do like a stature rip I might find one more happening between now and Christmas. Although, I don't know. Maybe I'll just save them and on Christmas I'll have a big old rip fest. But I'll keep my uh, eye out there for a better deal too. I think, like I say, some of these prices are going to get dropped. It seemed to, a lot of products seem to get reduced shortly after release. So we'll see what happens and maybe find a cheaper rip. In the meantime, people, keep on collecting.